Hello, you guys, and welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today, we're going to be doing something different because you guys have been requesting for me to do singles readings. So, this is going to be a collective singles read for the month of July, from now until the end of July. Um, we're going to see what's going on with my singles, um, see what, you know, what the universe has to say for you guys. I'm going to be using three different decks. I'm going to be using my Sacred Symbols deck, one of my favorite decks, an Oracle deck. I'm <clears throat> also going to be pulling like maybe two or three love cards to see what love energy surrounds my singles. And then I might go ahead and clarify if need be, okay? So once again, this is going to be a collective group reading for my singles. And yeah, we're going to see what's going on with um these energies going on with um the Mercury retrograde because I feel like a lot of... It's a lot of different energies going on. So let's see how it's affecting my singles. And because um, I know for my lovers... A lot of people are going through a lot of transformations, and it's a lot of karma clearing, okay? But let's just see what's going on with my singles. Let's get straight into it. Give me a big fat thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you'd like to book a personal private reading, you know what to do. Look at the description box below, and all my information will be there at, on how you can contact me on my website, okay? And on Instago for my Android, and now my iPhone. I'm sorry, my iPhone, and now my Android users. Okay. All right, let's get straight into it. All right, universal spirit, angels, ancestors, ascended gods, and masters, please give me messages for the collective singles. What message? Oop. Oh, crap. All right. What messages do you have for my singles as a collective group for the month of July 2019? Actually, give me messages I love, like clarity. Give me messages for my singles as a collective group. All 12 signs of the zodiac for the month of July, from now until the end of July, 2019. What messages do you have for my singles as a collective group? All 12 signs of the zodiac from now until the end of July, 2019. Give me one more card for my singles. All 12 signs. Oh, whoa. It's <laughs> a lot going on, singles. A lot going on. So many cards popped out. We're going to get one more card. One more card for my singles as a collective group. All 12 signs of the Zodiac Universal Spirit. What messages do you have for them? I ask for you messages on love, light, and clarity for my singles. All 12 signs of the Zodiac. What message do you have for a collective group? All right, so we had a one, we had a card that popped out. The card that popped out was water. So I do see my singles are really, really probably going to be focusing on their emotions and their intuition, going to their higher self for this month, towards the end of the month, going into August. I really feel like my singles, if you guys are just recently getting out of a relationship, you're now coping with um, healing and, you know, working on your emotions, staying grounded as well as balanced with your emotions. Some of you guys could be connected to water as well. Um, by visiting a beach or maybe going swimming. I'm seeing you guys get out into nature, going by water, as well as connecting to your intuition, like I said before. And it's going to also be a lot of my water signs that's going through that as well. But yes. Overall energy is transmute for my singles, okay? So I feel like with the overall energy being transmute, you guys are transmuting a lot of negative energy out your life. Like I said, we're going to be going through a lot of karma releasing with this Mercury trans um, retrograde transition. Um, and I just feel like with the transmute, you guys are just really, really trying to... Uh, you guys are focusing your energy on the things that matters to you. You're no longer paying attention to um, things that's negative, okay? Or people or situations that's going to bring you down for my singles, okay? You guys are really, really focusing on staying grounded and just really... I feel like some of you guys are mastering alchemistry, okay? You guys are becoming alchemists and you're working with the energies to create... Um, abundance and be and to create something new for yourself okay in a positive light and I do see some blessings coming in for my singles okay you guys are gonna be having a breakthrough and you're gonna be receiving a lot of blessings okay abundance a lot, a lot of my singles are going into a new home maybe starting a new job a career I'm just working on your finances um whatever maybe a new car maybe travel I just see a lot of new things happening a lot of blessings running raining down on my singles who's going through this step of transition, okay, because I feel like a lot of you guys are, like, raising your vibrations and just learning from mistakes and trying to, like, focus on getting out of negative emotions, getting out of things that you feel like is weighing you down and moving forward, okay, having a breakthrough. 
The first card we have is Butterfly. The second card we have is Evil Eye. And then we have Courage as the third card. So I feel like for my singles, you guys, some of you guys are definitely receiving messages maybe from a higher realm. Maybe your spiritual guides or your higher self is trying to connect with you and trying to get you to transmute and extend. I see a lot of you guys also can be getting messages from somebody from the past as well. For my singles, you guys might have somebody from your past, like an ex, trying to reach out to you. Um, and try to send you some type of message and universe is asking for you to be courageous when it comes to this and protect yourself, protect your space, protect your environment, protect your energy, okay? Heavenly, protect your energy. And I feel like with the butterfly, this is like a message coming in, okay? Um, and this message is going to be able to help you connect with your higher self and make the best judgment for yourself. That's what I'm seeing. Because with this Mercury retrograde, it's a lot of exes returning to, to just to be nosy. Some A lot of them coming in with like illusions and stuff like that. Some of them are jealous and just want to see where things are at with you now that you, you are free. You're set free and doing your own thing and had a breakthrough and you're no longer connected to them. And I really feel like I want you to protect yourself from these people. Because with the evil eye card coming in, you definitely have a lot of jealousy around you, okay? Um, and jealousy, like I said, a lot of people have been getting this card. I think I did this for Soulmate and Twin Flame reading. They got the jealousy card as well. So you might have some type of friends or um, maybe some of your peers that's close to you. Maybe even a co-worker or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> it can also be a family member, somebody that's close to you. Or it could be somebody that you have released that you was in a relationship with and you're no longer with them and you are now releasing them. These people are jealous. These people are looking at what you're going through, trying to seek in into your abundance and see what's going on with you. And I feel like... You are more than protected. Even though you might have some envious people around you, they might be saying, spreading gossip on your name or saying negative things about you, trying to bring you down to their miserable level because a lot of people are going through this transition where they're trying to detox and try to release karmatic energy. And some, So some people might be releasing uh, karmatic energy kind of like in a negative way. So they can be coming off like really sharp and like an asshole. Like, excuse my language, but I see a lot of people just kind of like getting their truths out but being really, really... Uh, sharp with their tongue and how they release this energy, okay? So just be protective over your energy and your space and know that you are highly protected by the universe and, the, and you know, your spirits, guys, and your angels and stuff like that. Um, and just know to be wary about who you give your time to, who you're sharing your information with, who you're telling, you know, about your, your new abundance, okay? Even if you found new love, I mean, say if you're single but you're dating somebody that you really like, be protective over that type of energy, okay? And kind of just like... Really, really be careful who you tell your business to, okay? That's what I'm seeing from my singles. Because I feel like you got some friends around you that could be jealous and envious as well, okay? They might see you and see you having a breakthrough and moving towards your abundance, and they might want what you got. And, I mean, at the end of the day, you should never have to compete with a friend. But sometimes we have enemies that's like frenemies, and they're as close to us like just like any other, you know, family member or whatever the case may be. So just be careful of that. But with the uh, the Courage card, I'm seeing, like, you guys are... Universe is asking for you to be courageous this month, going into the next month of August. Just be really courageous and really stand up for the things that you believe in. Stand up into your truth. Um, you know, be, be powerful, okay? Just move forward. Take action on the things that you want. Manifest the things that you want. Speak up and be honest and true about who you are, and, you know, and the things that you, you're moving towards and what you're not going to accept. You understand? It's like... Universe is definitely telling you to be courageous this month. Some of you Leos, I mean, maybe this is for my Leos because this reminds me of the Leo, the lion, because, you know, the traits of courage. But I'm seeing some of my Leos. Maybe some of you guys can also be moving towards your power, okay? Stepping up, you know what I'm saying? Speaking up, doing more things. But this is a collective reading, so... For my collective singles as a whole, you guys are going to be getting your courage back, getting your power back, and just really, really moving forward with progression, okay? So, um... I'm going to actually read from the um, book and let you guys know in detail what the, each meaning of the card means so you can, guys can have your, uh, you know, get more information on what the card means and just see if it uh, resonates with you guys. So with the transmute card, this is what it says. The snake is a powerful symbol of transmutation. Accept its gifts of shedding the old ways and the ability to make magic by transmuting its energy into something new. Meditate on this symbol when you need some assistance in changing the energy of your life. Not to be taken lightly, this is heavy magic. 
So I feel like you guys, some of you guys are even can be doing like things to change your energy, but like taking spiritual baths and meditating and doing yoga and doing things that's going to connect you and ground you and bring fresh, new, high vibrational energy towards you. Okay, I'm seeing that for a lot of you guys. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. I, I definitely feel like you guys are going to be shedding old ways and just things that was no longer serving you. You're going to be transmuting yourself out of that energy and moving forward with a higher self. Okay, with your higher self and the things that's going to... um. You know, bring blessings into your life because, I'm sorry, you guys, bring blessings into your life because I see you have blessings behind that, okay? One second. All right. So the next card for we have is Butterfly. I'm going to give you guys a definition of that so you can see what that means in this book. All right, so the butterfly goes through many stages before it becomes a beautiful creature as it is. Honor your process and allow beauty to be seen by all. Wear more colors to help announce the arrival of your exquisite transformation. Meditate on this when you want to call into more beauty, grace, and acceptance during times of transition. So like I said before, a lot of you guys are going to be getting messages from your higher self about transition, how to grow, and how to transmute these energies, okay? A lot of you guys are going through many stages. You guys probably came out of a relationship, like I said. You could have maybe left a job that wasn't serving you and just trying to start over and start something new going towards your goals and your dreams and for my ones that's getting out of relationships for my singles you guys could be just really really taking that negative energy or things that you know that was holding you back and taking that and, and transmuting that energy into a positive lesson okay and moving forward and, and you know becoming your higher self being your best self again and that's what i'm saying like honoring the things that you've been through honoring who you are and embracing the beauty that surrounds you being graceful and accepting things that you can no longer change accepting things for what it's going to be okay um so that's what i'm saying i mean that's what it says mm -hmm. All right, so let's go here with the evil card, evil eye card. So it says, jealous people are nearby, but there's no need to worry. You're more than protected. Meditate on, on meditate to shield oneself from negative thoughts, envy, or jealousy. So like I said before, you guys might have jealous people that's nearby you, but like I said, you're protected. You're more than protected. Um, just, just focus. Stay out of negative thinking. Stay out of. Stay away from people that you know are envious and jealous. Stay, go towards people that's vibrating higher. Surround yourself with friends and peers and people that <clears throat> that you know basically have the same values as you. That wants the best out of life. That wants to move. You know, wants to see things grow, and they 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 are tapped into their spiritual self as well. Because I feel like a lot of us are surrounding ourselves with people that are stuck in that root chakra that uh, material realm, that physical plane. And we're no longer accepting these type of friendships or relationships anymore, you guys. I feel like we really are moving forward and want more meaningful things, you know, in our life as we get older and as we grow and, and you know, we obtain our wisdom, okay? So with the Courage card, we have Joan of Arc once said, I am not afraid. I was born to do this. This is your new mantra, you have all that you need and more to proceed. Live your dreams, step forward with confidence and certainty. Meditate on a symbol and mantra whenever you need a boost of energy. So for my singles, I want you guys to say, I am not afraid I was born to do this, okay? I am not afraid I was born to do this. I am not afraid <laughs> I was born to do this. This is a new mantra for my singles because you're not afraid of moving forward and transmuting yourself and going to your higher self and letting go of things that's no longer serving you. Some of us are uh, singles are uh, just recently ending a relationship and moving towards our singlehood and independence and our abundance. And you know it's hard, but it's, but it's nothing to be afraid of. You might feel a little sad and have to, you know, transmute these energies out of your mind so you can move forward. But it's going to happen. Like, this is a new mantra for you guys to say. Um, it's, it's time for us to live our dreams and step forward with confidence and certainty, okay? Uh, surety that we know what we're, where, we're, uh, where we're hitting at in life, okay? So just it's just time for us to move forward with the things that we want to achieve, okay? And the things that resonates with our soul, okay? So um, that's what I'm seeing for my singles. You guys are going to be going through a lot. It's transition, okay? You're shedding old ways and, old, and, you know, just negative thoughts and thinking. And you're transmuting that energy and moving towards your abundance. You know, a lot of y'all might got some haters, and I see a lot of y'all saying, screw the haters. You know, if I got to cut out some friends or cut out some people from the past that I was connected to, maybe exes that I was so tied to, being a friend, but they holding me back and they stopped me from progression, I got to move forward with that, okay? So let's get two love cards and see what's going on with my singles. Um, see what the universe has to say for you guys. 
What messages do you have for my singles? That's a collective group on 12 signs of the zodiac. For now into the end of July, going into August. What messages do you have for my singles? That's a collective group from now. Going into the end of July. And from, from now to the end of July. To, to 2019. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> what message do you have for my singles as a collective group? Universal Spirit. I speak a message I love, light, and clarity. I speak a message I love, light, and clarity. For my singles as a collective group. What message do you have? Whoa. Too many cards. Sorry, you guys. i to pull one more card. Give me one more. Whoa. Give me one more card for my singles as a collective group for the month of July 2019 from now until the end. What messages do you have for my singles as a collective group? All 12 signs of the zodiac from now until July. The end of July 2019. Give me one more card. Whoa. Okay. Hmm. All right, you guys, that's weird. For my singles, it says calling in your soulmate. The overall energy we have is healing family issues. So a lot of my singles are going to be working on healing their family issues. I feel like some of my singles are going to be focusing more on their family, maybe their, your children. Maybe you're going to try to work on, like, being a better mom or dad, being a better parent, Um, just talking to your parents and trying to reconnect and rekindle the bond that you want to share with your parents. I feel like a lot of you guys are just really focused on family, too. Um, right now, going into the end of the month, I feel like some of you guys are clearing up communication or disagreements or just things that wasn't that was left unspoken with your parents, and it's this is going to benefit your love life, okay, for my singles, and it's going to be able to bring in some type of healing for your soul and for your heart chakra, so you'll be able to open up <clears throat> once you get that new love coming, okay. But the first card we have is um calling your soulmate calling in your soulmate and then we have engagement so that's that's kind of crazy for my singles i feel like some of you guys um even though you're single okay i feel like you guys have a soulmate that's around you right now that or somebody that you um you have of interest and this person you see this person as your soulmate i feel like a lot of you guys are visualizing or if you're single though as well and you don't have a current partner i feel like some of you guys are just kind of like at night you're thinking about your ideal partner or the during the day you might have dreams and visions about the person or your perfect mate a person that can do <clears throat> a person that um that's best for you like you maybe you can say to yourself like i can't wait till i meet my soulmate you know universal spirit you know or god whatever you like to say <clears throat> excuse me you know bringing my soulmate you know bring my love to me like i'm ready now i'm ready for love for some of my singles that's really ready for love okay i see you calling in your soulmate and if not universe is asking for you to call in that soulmate your prayers and affirmations and visualizations will help bring you guys together for my singles that have been single for a long time i feel like somebody about to come knocking somebody's about to come and show you like hey I'm serious. This is what I, who I am. I'm on your vibe. I'm on your vibration. Your vibe. We feeling each other. We on the same wavelength mentally, spiritually, and I feel like it's gonna be a beautiful thing. Okay, but you just gotta call and manifest that person. Okay, visualize and at the same time work out your family issues because that's gonna be able to help you grow when it comes to your heart chakra and communication and just being open and honest about things and what you would like. Okay. And um, restoring the faith of love again. That's what I'm seeing. Um, but we have engagement. So say so your love life is extended to a higher level of commitment. So for my singles, I feel like for my singles, you guys will be meeting somebody really soon. And this person is going to be really, really ready. Like, they're going to be all in. That's what I'm seeing. Like, if not, it's just like maybe you guys can have somebody that's coming back to you that's ready to commit. For my singles that maybe you broke up with your partner and you've been single and y'all been taking a break, I feel, feel like for some of you guys, this person will be coming back and trying to offer some type of engagement or a proposal. Um, maybe they can be trying to come back in and tell you like, hey, I feel like you are the one for me. You are who I want to marry. You are my wife. Like, I desire you. They could tell you like, hey, I screwed up or whatever case may be. I feel like for some of my singles that you were married, but you are on a separation, Maybe your partner wants to come back home and work out family issues and heal those things and re reconcile this relationship or this marriage and move forward, okay, and extend it to a higher level. But this is a singles reading, but I feel like for a lot of my singles, you have somebody returning back to you to offer some type of higher level of commitment. If it's like a new relationship offer 
or if it's like, hey, like, I'm trying to go all in. Like, we broke up, but let's get back and let's get married. Like, that's what I'm seeing. So, I feel like a lot of little blessings and surprises are going to be happening for my singles, okay? Um, from now on, going into the, um, the end of the month, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's see. And that's, we're going to call, pull, like, three more cards from my tarot deck. And see what my tarot have to say for my singles. All right. Give me the spirit, angels, ascending gods, and masters. Give me messages for my singles. All 12 signs of the zodiac as a collective group. For now until the end of July 2019. What message do you have for my singles? All 12 signs of the zodiac as a collective group. From now until the end of July 2019. I ask for you messages out of love, light, and clarity. For my singles as a collective group. Ooh. My singles as a collective group from now to the end of July 2019. Must see you have for my singles. All 12 signs of the Zodiac. Okay. A lot of my singles, what I'm seeing, I see the Justice card. I see, okay, so the first card, Justice card, we have the Five of Coins, we have the Nine of Stats, and then we have the Queen of Swords. So, some of my air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I mean, and some of my fire signs, Leo, Sag, Aries, and my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like y'all as singles, y'all really are going through a major transition, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I feel like a lot of you guys are divorcing and letting go of things that's unfair and it's not just, okay? Um, a lot of my singles, you guys are recently getting divorced, recently breaking up and calling something off. Some of my singles, I see you guys are going through legal issues, okay, where you have to maybe pay back some type of fi um, fine or pay back some type of court order or some type of restitution, child support, something like that. Um, I see some type of maybe... Um, for some of my uh, singles, you guys are just getting divorced, and I see some of you guys having to pay spousal support. Okay, and it's it's draining you financially. Okay, it's draining you. You're looking at your funds with this five of pentacles, and you're feeling like you're left out in the cold, like you have a lack financially. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So let me know if this resonates for some of my singles. But I do see some type of justice. If some of you guys are trying to take somebody to court, I I do feel like it's going to. You're going to have to invest a lot of money into the situation, but things will work out in your favor. It's going to end up being just, okay? I do see that. But I do see some divorces on the table for some of my singles, like recently getting a divorce or just recently deciding that they want to be single and get a divorce. Um, some type of financial issues are occurring. But I feel like some of you guys are being defensive right now. A lot of my singles are going through some, a transition where so a lot of people are coming at you sideways with different opinions. Um, maybe it can be a, somebody you recently broke up with. They're trying to come back and say something or text you or try to take some type of action to get your attention or something like that um, when it comes to stability or finances or something um, or the relationship as a whole. But I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be blocking out this person or blocking out people that's just making you feel like lack. Okay, anybody that's coming in lacking and not bringing you anything high vibrational, you are being defensive with them singles. You guys are putting up your wall and blocking out any negativity. You guys also have put some people on block. It could be me, either friends, family, or just your ex. You're blocking them because you just feel like you're just tired, okay? You want to move forward and take action towards what you want to do for yourself. And you're no longer accepting or trying to hear anything that's negative, okay? I really feel like with the nine of staff, you guys are just putting down... Like, you're blocking the bullshit, basically. You don't even want to hear any bullshit because I feel like you heard it all before. With the Queen of Swords, it's like you guys are stepping into your truth. You're stepping into who you are. Like, you you want truth. You want nothing but the truth. You like honesty, okay? You like fairness, okay? And the, the Queen of Swords, she's somebody that's... She's, she's going to be honest about how she feels, okay? She's very logical. She takes a logical approach about things. She stands up. She gives you clarity, okay? She's honest with her, with her shit, and with the Queen of Swords, it's just like you guys are cutting out things that's just making you feel drained and lacking financially. Anything that's going to ruin your finances, anything that's going to come in and distracting you with burdens and drama, you're no longer accepting that. You're going into your power, okay? You're, you're stepping into a woman of, I ain't got the time. or he, The woman or man of, I ain't got the time, okay? <laughs> Some of you guys could be blocking uh, um, a person that's the air sign. 
or a fire sign. I see that as well. But I'm just seeing that you guys are going through, um, just working on being honest and truthful about the things you want. Standing up for, for yourself and blocking out people and cutting people off. And I see some of you guys are just working on making things balanced in your life. And, you know, it was a lack of finances. Some of you guys lost finances, okay? Dealing with a, a relationship or dealing with certain people. And now you're just trying to, like, you know, you defensive, you guarded, you're blocking out people. Um, but you're still moving forward. You're still taking action. Like, you, you you feel like you put a lot of weight on your shoulder and you had to pick up the dead weight for a lot of people and a lot of things. But you're, you're no longer carrying that dead weight. Now you're trying to move forward from it, okay? Because with the Seven of Coins, um, we have the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Coins. So some of you guys, like, you, you realize that you invested in a partnership um, and it, it was weighing heavy on your shoulders, okay? It was weighing heavy on your shoulders. You, you invested a lot of time, energy, and fine. Like I said, time, energy, and finances into this relationship or this this situation, okay? And you just feel like, damn, like where where am I gonna get my rewards? I'm planting seeds, and I'm I have a lot of shit on my shoulder that I'm dealing with. But when am I gonna get my rewards? So that's what I'm seeing. But with the Knight of Cups, it's just like you have somebody that's gonna. Some of my um singles, you guys definitely have somebody coming back. To offer you some type of cup or some type of forgiveness, apology. They can be coming and expressing themselves to you. Um, so just be really careful. Like, you know, just make sure that if you have somebody trying to return back to you or somebody new coming in, just be, I mean, I understand that you're guarding your defenses because you've been through a lot. But don't close your heart. That's what I'm saying for some of my singles. Don't close your heart, okay? Just slowly go into things. Be honest. Be true. Be clear about the things that you want. And I feel like things will work out for you, okay? So, yeah, like, I'm seeing, like, a lot of my singles are getting out of illusions, getting out of, like, being fearful about marriage or being fear fearful about relationships. You're now going to step into what you want and no longer hold back. Um, you guys are looking for an equal partner. I feel like a lot of my singles want somebody that's ready for marriage. You guys are ready for marriage, not no um, fake, mundane bullshit relationship because a lot of us like let's be real a lot of people out here are just playing games with each other and they saying they want a relationship but really they be confused they don't know what they want <laughs> so i'm seeing a lot of you guys talking about that like you're no longer accepting secrets and lies and just you know you want the truth you want honesty um when it comes to commitments and if you ever get back into a commitment i feel like you guys are really going to vocalize that more than you have ever before okay about the things that you are working towards and what you want out of a relationship Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. And you guys are definitely be working on your temperance. You guys are working on temperance in yourself and um, temper temperance in your emotions and staying balanced and getting out of toxic energies and just moving forward and transitioning out of that. Okay, that's why we had that transmute energy. You're finding your balance again, okay? This is Sagittarius energy. But yeah, let me know if this resonates. This is my singles reading. I hope I can give you guys... Um, each and every one of you guys a piece of knowledge or advice so you guys can take that and see what's going on with my singles and see if it resonates with you. If it does resonate, go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell if you'd like to see more videos like this. And um, like I said, to book a personal private reading, you can do so by looking on my website, um, booking me on my website, www.ladyscopiustarot.com. Or on Instago, um, my name is Terrell by Scorpions, and now my Android users and iPhone users can go on there and find me and book me and check out my readings on there, because um, I do offer single readings on there as well. And yeah, see you guys next month.